It's Elitist Bastards Go to the Movies with two special extra guest stars, let's say. You may hear them chewing. Uh, so we have Justin Sather to my right. That's, that's the one that doesn't look like an L when you hold it up like that. Yes, that is, that is, that is your right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, Hanky, I'm impressed you can tell my, that. To my left here. Uh, Port, for those of you who are sailors. And then, introduce yourself. Ken's daughter, Jeannie. Ken's daughter, Jeannie. To my Northwest, I guess. Probably. Directly across from you. Justin's wife, Laura Marie. Have any of you seen any movies this week? Yeah. These guys did, I guess. I've seen movies this week. I don't know if I've seen the appropriate ones. Well, maybe you have. Maybe you've got, maybe you saw something better. I watched a bunch of Storage Wars last night. Mm. Oh, Storage Wars. Did you, is it, did you watch the first season, or you, is it like the new crazy hip? No, it's the first, is there a crazy version? Well, there's like a, there's one that they were promoting, I was briefly watching television a couple months ago, and there was one that was like Storage Wars Texas, and like oh. it was, but it wasn't the same. It can be no worse than my wife constantly watching what she calls how it's made, and what I call what the fuck is it? Because I keep walking in the middle of it and I have to stand there and look at it and try and figure out what it is they are making. We can't even get into the awful stuff I watch on, yeah. Oh, we could. No. Well, the appeal of Storage If it's not Wars, the Mythbusters, I don't watch it. It's I mean. not Mythbusters. It, it, no, they're, the, they're, they're the only ones that don't irritate I, me. I adore. And these, these How It's Made things all have music that sound like they're off a 1963 Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah instructional film. But are they as good as Men in Black 3? Or, in fact, is Men in Black 3 as good as? I don't want to talk about Men in Black 3. What about Chernobyl Diaries? It sounds no, like anything I'm talking about. New stuff. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about Chernobyl Diaries. It I don't want to listen to it. Would you rather watch... Really? Because I thought about staying and watching it tonight. Not worth it. Oh, God. It's bad. It, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so I guess... Does we're... it at least have mutants in it? Sort of. You don't ever really see them. It's in such you know, little... It's mostly people running around in the dark with a flashlight. Frequently out of focus. See, they've been outstaged by the naked guy eating that guy's face. Yeah, well, yeah, that that's certainly much more entertaining than mm. the Chernobyl Diaries. Well, they keep was. saying the drug he was on was similar to LSD, and I'm it's like, called bath salts. Yeah, it's not it's similar to LSD designer. at all. It's not at all. To, yeah, that's like similar to PCP, maybe. PCP or meth, maybe. Yeah, but like bath salts. Is yeah. Honestly, called. bath street. Can. It's really bad. Yeah. Okay. It makes you eat people's faces, apparently. Well, so, but apparently the pictures. So does PCP, though. There was that rapper. I can't remember his PCP name. PCP does really, really strange stuff to your brain yeah. as well. Well, the picture showed up with the guy's face, so. Oh, really? I haven't seen oh, that. Oh, really? Yet. Did the guy die? I take it. It's not pleasant. <laughs> Literally half his face in here down. It's, it's gone. gone. Yeah. And there's an eyeball. This sounds somewhat I mean, worse than the woman with the chimpanzee. Oh yeah. It's, Maybe. But at least with this, we get to have our zombie fantasy for a few minutes. We're like, no, he's not a crazy no, drug addict. Maybe he's a werewolf. Could be. Could be. Not entirely possible. I at don't least, know. I don't feel conflicted. I felt conflicted about the chimpanzee woman because I was kind of like, well, yeah, you're housing a chimpanzee. Yeah, yeah. So, is there anything movie related we actually do want to talk about? <laughs> well, speaking of chimpanzees, there we go. Ken's a huge fan of Dunstan checks in. <laughs> you want to talk about? You're not even being ironic. That's not even a champ. That's not even a. That, that's not even a chimpanzee. That, oh, that's an it? orangutan. Oh, right. no, they're both apes. Yes, but you see, this is the whole thing. I've, I've never, never seen Dunstan checks in, Ken. Why don't you educate us on? I haven't seen it in years. Okay. I just was always mentioning it because every time I would check the Fox Movie Channel listings, the damn thing was on. How does it? Compared to any of the other great ape-related cinema we've seen in the last 20 years. Well, it's no King Kong, and it's certainly not the end of The Jungle Princess. Nothing is the end of The Jungle Princess. What about Monkey Business? Or MVP, Most Valuable Primate. Well, there you go. Hold on. Hello? Okay. Answer the Hello. phone. Hello? Yeah, I'm glad. take a phone Very professional yes, podcast. Yes. We are. I'm leaving this in. I'm yes. not cutting this out anymore. It's too much effort to actually edit things out. <laughs> Sam Kim on the phone. Leave it in. It's a storage war. Okay. I watched, well, I watched okay, that's two, fine. one very okay. excellent documentary on okay. um, right. the People's Bye. Church this week. 
The what? The oh. People's Church, Jim Jones. Oh, right, Jones right, 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 okay. It was really, really, right. really, really, really creepy. Have you ever heard him laugh? laugh? No, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen any video of the no. guy. I just, I mean, I know about okay. the story. It but was good. I don't it was want to an MSNBC uh, documentary. Ever. And they were like the primary, they were the only news channel really covering it when it started. And I didn't really know anything about it. And um, lots of footage from Jonestown and of him and just like. Who recipes? Anything like that? There is this really weird part where he's like showing off Jonestown and he actually is like, and we keep things in here like, you know, marshmallows, we have a lot of Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's good. Sounds fair to me. Should we get a clip of Jim Jones laughing? I can find out. Yeah, whatever happened to you downloading the uh, BBC sound effects <laughs> library? I Forgot. I have a laugh track. I'm reminding you. <laughs> yes, you do. How many do you? do you have on there now? Yeah. Hold on. I was reading about laugh tracks the other day and about the whole invention of laugh tracks and how they used oh, really? this machine called the lap box, where this guy had like 120 loops of laughs, which is why you all the laughs on the same back piece. Oh, that's order. good. That sounds like applause. Somebody got. Is this going to be the worst basically. podcast we've ever done? Yeah, it, so far it's it's. I bet you it may it may be technically the worst podcast we've ever done, given the Russian all. But um, did I even introduce this? Yeah. Yes, I did. That's as far as we've gotten. Okay. Yeah, we haven't done anything since then. We we should start using that. We should just rambled incoherently. Now we should try the Spike Milligan experiment, and that was to take an intrinsically unfunny mm -hmm. line, okay, and use a laugh track on it. Mm -hmm and get to a point where people are so anticipating this line and can tell that it's coming that they'll laugh at it for real, and it worked. The line was, we have fallen in the water. That's terrible. But what about context? Yeah, it's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> See, they could have laughed, that wasn't even funny. If you break down the I'm, I'm really easily amused. But that's good though. But if you break it down along the, the gender string, I want to see. <laughs> if you break it down along, along gender demographics here, no men laugh, all the women laugh. We know who I appeal to now. The sex appeal. We just know you. Yeah, We've been true. around you enough. That's like, true. That's where like, like, none of this is new material to us, uh, so you know. <laughs> Put them boom. All right. So let's just run through this real quick, just to get out of the way. Bernie, you liked it. Yeah, I like burning a whole lot. That's really? why. It's, that's why it's got four and a half stars, like you've made on your little cheat sheet here. Is it better? Than I, I did that so I can check to make sure that the ratings yes, get in right. It has nothing, nothing to do with weekend at Bernie's. Nonsense. Like some, There's a dead person who, and he, he pretends that she's alive. It's practically weekend at Bernie's. No, it's not. Yeah. What about yeah. weekend at Bernie's nothing. too? No. Exactly. No. It is what nothing like uh, weekend at Bernie's. Like Bernie's. Yeah. The There's the a dead woman, and he pretends that she's alive. Now. No. He does? No, this, this, is, this has nothing sorry. whatsoever to do with fucking Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> it's a awesome awesome morons on I told you a couple IMDb. weeks ago. I watched it a couple weeks ago. It is so bad. It is such a stupid movie. Oh, I, Weekend at Bernie's? I'd only seen part of it before. It's horrible. Yeah, it really is. It's, I just, I've never seen it. I really want it to be good because... That's how exactly how I felt about it. I was like, this should be good. This is a classic of 80s yeah. crap. And like, you know, but it's just... Well, see, there you go. There's your answer right there. Did you 80s see, crap. Did you see the second one? No. Is it better? Let's just say they um, use Bernie? a voodoo spell. So oh, Bernie I have can, seen the second one. It's horrible. So Bernie can ambulate. show them to, yeah, he can ambulate and show them where his buried treasure is. Well, I'm getting that tonight. That's all there is to it. When I they, hope you're getting well, this illegal. You better call TBI and reserve it because I hear it's really I have popular Netflix again. and see if it's on there. Well, after this podcast, you're not going to be able to find a copy. No, he's going to be running out. No, but this is, he's going to do it well, before the podcast. Like, like, he's going like, to sit around for ages. Illegally downloading. <laughs> Imagine if there's somebody out there who's like, you know, we really need to make sure that Weekend at Bernie's 2 is available to the pirating community. Oh, well, there you go. I can't imagine. That even pirates have better taste than that, usually. Oh, I wouldn't mm, bet no. on that. There is no. some... I, no, no. There's some... There's some... Bad stuff. Oh, yeah. I saw the trailer for... Or Chernobyl Diaries today while I was, or yesterday when I was. I am so sorry. Well, getting seen the movie, what's your point? It it looks awful. It's, it's worse, worse than, than it looks. How is that possible? It looks because it's longer than the trailer. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It's like the trailer that doesn't end. Okay, what it is is you have six unlikable morons mm -hmm. who decided it'd be a really great idea to go take a tour of Chernobyl, played mm -hmm. by Hungary. 
with a sketchy Russian guide. Guess what? It's not a good idea. Wait, so the, well, so the thing, are they playing it off as it, it's abandoned and nobody's been there for ages? And Yes, and also they're playing it off as looking absolutely as, as the, the nuclear power plant. Uh-huh. They show it to you and it looks nothing like the one in reality. Because no. I'm... People live there. Yeah, there's people still live there. People still live there. It was a documentary in the news. Like, the plant still works, parts of it. Yeah. There was a documentary that was talking about the people who never evacuated. And, like, they they got interesting footage of parts of Chernobyl. It was... Because it was crazy, because, like, the animals and plants are fine there. Like, the actual, like, there's very little radiation damage and stuff. Basically, what we're saying is this movie's dumb. Yes. They had piranha-like catfish in this one. Uh, I actually saw Men in Black 3. The day it opened, I liked it. I didn't think it was great. I gave it. I would give it exactly three stars. Did you stars. like the first Men in Black? I saw the first Men in Black to give me some context for this. I hated the second one. It was awful. It I was the second one. It is really bad. I mean, it was just everything that was wrong with the concept it exploited beyond measure. Really, I mean, it was bad. The first one was dumb fun. I wouldn't say it's a great movie either, but it's it's entertaining. This was. There were parts of Men in Black 3 that I really liked. There were other parts where I was like, why did we do this? Why was this necessary? Is this the best you could come up with? You had 10 years? This is all you have? Josh Brolin? Genius. Fantastic. Love him. Yeah, but are you ever going to watch it again? No. There you go. Never. But, I mean, do you have to? To like it, do you have to watch it again? I mean, you No, but I feel like you have to have For it to be worthwhile, I think you have to be willing to watch it again. It was fun. Uh, I would level down the word worthwhile. I don't know. I think... There's been stuff I've watched and I'm like, that was fine. I enjoyed that. I'll never watch watch it again. again. And then I forget about it in six months. Yeah. And then the problem with that is is you forget about it and then three years later you watch and you go, oh god, yes, I remember this. I think the only thing that I really will walk away from Men in Black 3 with is the scene with David Hayter. Is his name? David Hayter? Bill Hayter. Bill Hayter. Hayter. Not David Hayter. Bill Hayter. Who was really funny as Andy Warhol. He's always really funny. He was good in this. I liked it. Um, I didn't, the rest of it was kind of like, eh. and the thing is, like, I really like Jermaine Clement. I think he's funny, and when he's cast right, he was terrible in that. So, I mean, I just didn't care. I was like, this is our villain. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't as bad as Laura Flynn Boyle, but I mean, it was <laughs> still pretty bad. Where was she? She was the villain in Men in Black Two. Oh, really? Yeah. Lower up. Well, that shows how much I remember about Men in Black Two. You're not missing anything. Is she still that. alive? I got chicken in my water. Didn't she have some like, some kind of like weird psychotic break or something? You no, know, she just worked for David Lynch. It's about the same thing. Is it? Yeah, yeah. she did. She, she was, had something. She was messed up for a while. Yeah, she my worked girlfriend for David Lynch. Well, yeah, yeah. You, they can't come out of that normal. There's no way. Worthy sacrifice, though. She also dated Jack Nicholson for a long time. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, there's two. Then there's... All right, what do we think about it? Well, has anybody here other than you seen Undefeated? No. Still the trailer looked okay. What was it? It's a documentary about a high school football team. And what was the name though? Undefeated. And oh. it won an Oscar. Lots of things won Oscars, Kim. I know that. Kim, we've discussed how I feel about the Oscars and that it's not worth bringing up again. You like the Oscars or you don't like the Oscars? Uh, not this year. Or any year. Or any year. I mean, I'm trying to be nice, but. There are some years when they accidentally get it right. Uh, yeah. But it's always by accident. So what is the most reliable rewards or awards show? There is none. Our yeah. top ten list. Yep, that's and it. Kids Choice Award. I can see that. I'll go for that. I, I trust them. Wow. Well, I, I don't know. I have a... Uh, I guess pre teens like Katy Perry a lot. Well, there's a Katy Perry <laughs> movie coming Is out. that you apologizing for it? Well... <laughs> She does tell everybody they are like fireworks, yeah. so that's good. Do you want to review the Katy Perry concert movie? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. It's okay with me. I'll take it. That's that's right up my alley, unfortunately. And what you just said sounds like a line out of an upcoming film called Piranha 3 Double D. So there we go. What? Do you want to review the Katy Perry movie? No, her response. It's right up my alley? Fine. Anyways, <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking I, about I, either. Piranha Three Double D. It was a transition. Who's excited about that movie? It no wasn't one. a transition. Uh, let him have it. Just let him. <laughs> they can keep it. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, what do you mean it's a train? What about Piranha Three Double D? Who's excited about it? Is no there anybody in the entire world who's we excited about Piranha? We don't even know if it's coming out. Fourteen-year-old boys who have I never was, seen breasts. I don't know. 
I they don't exist anymore. I'm pretty sure they don't, thanks to the internet. Mm. Were they high? Really, I will not incriminate my <laughs> really friends. Really backward 14-year-old boys. They didn't have the internet, but they had 3D cinemas. Uh, they have access to But them, they can't yeah. get into the stupid R-rated movie. Want to bet? <laughs> well, not supposed they've still to. got their Harry Potter glasses. Mm. See? And they've got them from last time, and they're going to buy a ticket to something like Undefeated You're and sneak them in. How to do it, yeah, of course. And, <laughs> and sneak in. To what was the first movie Piranha you ever snuck into? Three Ken? double D. What? What was the first movie you ever snuck into? Oh, I never did actually. Oh, okay. Have you ever snuck into a movie before you worked in no. theaters? You mean? Are, so. are, you talking about, are we talking about underage? No, I've. What did I sneak into? <laughs> Not another teen movie, and then we ended up leaving early because <laughs> it sucked. It was awful. Yeah. It had a good trailer, and then the movie was terrible. Yeah. It had a good trailer? Yeah, it we looked left, like it might actually yeah. be funny. We left at the diarrhea scene. Like there, or the when oh, the plumbing place. explodes or something. There's wow, I don't even remember that. I probably blocked scene. this from my mind. Like the, the roof collapsed. You were collapses. old enough to see that, weren't you? I think I was... I must was have been 17. 2001. I don't know. I don't think I was. Or maybe my friends were it's possible my parents snuck us into Forrest Gump. What year did that come out? Forrest 90s. Gump wasn't. Oh, your parents are it with you. It was PG-13. PG-13 though. is not a sneak in. The people do not we were understand like, this. I was like ten. When it, they doesn't came out. it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, you can get in no matter yes, what. Yes, it's strictly a recommendation. Oh, okay. And none yeah, of this stuff is suggested. legal. Oh, okay. That's what people don't understand. Is none of this is legal. It is strictly a recommendation thing. The theater is enforcing it, but it is not a legal situation at all unless your That's state true. has yeah it, 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 it has no you know and I've heard oh, you showed R-rated trailers before that movie I believe that's a federal offense <laughs> bullshit you know it's not a federal offense no, it's, it's, not. it's not an offense of any kind except maybe good taste it's, uh, maybe offending these personally I think it's great it, it's, it's you know I, right. I think it, 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 it personally is a good thing to show R-rated trailers to young children, toughen them up. We were allowed to watch some pretty intense stuff pretty early as kids. Yeah, yeah, I, you, I you, 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 you better stay out of Actually, this. Actually, <laughs> I'm really curious. What's your yeah, earliest yeah. movie memory of your father showing you something on the screen? I mean... Well, I definitely, I would say my strongest memory would be of the Clockwork Orange. And what age was that? <laughs> what age was it? Clockwork Orange? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I don't know. What age would you say? I'm sure, the statute of limitations is passed <laughs> by now, anyways. <laughs> what What age do you think you were? Elementary school, six, seven, maybe. Six, seven. <laughs> wow. Clockwork Orange. Wow. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, now there were. Uh, there, there, <laughs> There, there, no, we have two. We had two films that she was not allowed to see. Okay. Pink Flamingos, because I didn't want to explain it. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What? Why is that? Too hokey? It's, it's the sort of thing that I think would have bothered her as a small child. Other than that, I don't Look think... Look like we're orange is fun? Really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it's there actually more her, her, her earliest years? There's a Skinner box in a clock of orange. That's disturbing. There's a what? There's Skinner boxes. Yeah. That you use for There's conditioning. There's also some heavy and some duty violence. Up. And some <laughs> rain. <laughs> I'm just going through my mind all the like, 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 like children don't the, understand what that that's stuff exactly, is. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's the whole point. I mean, they don't <laughs> under they don't get this. Stuff. Do you have any? I, the funny thing about this is, is all the stuff in the fifties. It wasn't, there was no nudity or anything like that in it, but we were constantly taken to see wildly inappropriate movies because they weren't rated. Right. So do you feel like it had a negative impact on your growing up? That yeah. you, did it make any difference at all? Her earliest, Probably made you like movies. Her yeah. earliest, her earliest viewings, mm -hmm. because they were great babysitters. Okay. Tommy. Mm -hmm. Listomania. Okay. And Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm -hmm. Sensing a theme here. She saw all of these before she could walk. <laughs> they have a lot of bright colors and the scene changes a lot. It will hold a small child's attention. 
Can you remember any of the music from those films? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. I had the only four-year-old in kindergarten <laughs> who could sing Sweet Transvestite. <laughs> That's fantastic. And would. <laughs> I mean, and I'll own up to that. <laughs> I do remember she came home from her grandmother's one time. And her grandmother told me that she had told her, do you know what Franz Liszt says? He says, oh shit. <laughs> it's like a speaking spell. Like, <laughs> and the Franz Liszt goes, oh shit. <laughs> Did you see movies? Just whatever? I mean, my parents like screened a little bit. Like, um, they made us wait a year before we watched Pulp Fiction. I, like, I remember her, my mom coming home and being How like... How old were you guys when Pulp Fiction happened? It's 90s. They came out in 94. Yeah. And I'm 26. Okay. So, elementary school. I mean, we were pretty young. I probably saw it in middle school. I was in middle school when we, as a family, tried to watch Pulp Fiction. <laughs> one, one, and I don't think my mom... We got about halfway through experience. it, and I don't think... We were she very was, I think she realized it was a bad idea. We were very young when we what, tried what, to that, watch... That it was scarring, or that it was confusing? I think it was just like... She just realized, I probably shouldn't let my kids watch this. Well, you know, I, for the longest time, she kept complaining about this movie. That she didn't like the part with the witch in it. <laughs> uh -huh. Could not figure out what movie she was talking about. It's Jack Nicholson with the old lady in The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> you remember this? Mm -hmm. I mean, like Saturday Witch. Night Fever is pretty vulgar. My mom forgot about the my mom did too. The vulgarity she, yeah. in that and started showing that. My dad was well. There like, were two um, different versions of that. There was a PG cut and an R cut. We, I'm pretty huh. sure, mom probably rented the. I mean, it had to have been the R. By the cut. time I she rented it, there may the not have been two versions of it. We were pretty young. We were probably 10 and 11, maybe. Does that ever happen anymore, where they cut two different versions of a film that are that far apart? I mean, I'm, I'm familiar with the, you know, well, R and NC-17s the, and the PG-17s. There, there's, the, there's the recent King's Speech now with less fuck. Right, right. That's a good example. And so that went from the R-rated to a PG-13. Right? Which nobody went to see. Right. Roadhouse went from... Roadhouse... I had a friend who'd never seen Roadhouse anywhere but on TV, and, like, we watched it on VHS one night, and she was like... There's a lot more to this movie than I thought. It well, got, it got, it got just some out dirty scenes. But on, on, yeah. TV, on yeah. TV, you can't just kind of hard call. True. I've always wanted to see the on TV. Movie. I've always wanted to see the TV print of Crimes of Passion. I figure it must be ten minutes long. Yeah. And everybody goes, hey. Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the classic Big Lebowski TV cut where the Coens themselves rewrote the dialogue that was dubbed. <clears throat> So it's... It's funny. Well, you know the uh, famous uh, Godfather overdub? I don't want my brother coming out of the bathroom with a stick in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one what? last thing we should probably talk about. Snow White and the Huntsman? Anybody care about that? Why should we talk about that, Steve? It hadn't because I had it on my list, and I have a list yeah. in front of me. She doesn't care about it. Kristen Stewart doesn't care. I don't see why we could. Does she not? She doesn't care about anything. Have you ever seen her facial expression? <laughs> well, Maybe she, she, she knows. She was like and... just encountered an unfortunate aroma. <laughs> she's just probably herself. Slightly... Botox. Botox. It's preventative Botox. It's making her that way, but I don't know what it is. She's but probably going to age well. Two expressions. Well, she's not good now. I mean, similar. we know one thing though. She it's not the... Snow White and the Huntsman double D. Do you have a Do you have a rim well, shot sound on your phone? Well, Thor. Yeah, well, Cram he's, Chris Hemsworth possibly, possibly a double he has D. the biggest boobs. I'm sure he's, I mean, yes. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care one way or the other, but, you know, is it, what do we have to say about I, this? I don't know. I'm worried the battery's dying. It's, it is. Uh, right. Why did you come here with... Why did you come here I fully raced loaded? Here. I raced here. Fully loaded. And I didn't even check to see if there's batteries in there. This entire time, I'm like, it's going to cut off at any point. And it may. That would be awful. <laughs> oh no, the world would be robbed of this it would have, of, of possibly the worst <laughs> podcast ever. Now I'm sure there's worse. I think it was pretty I mean, interesting. I thought I could ours. contribute to like a milestone podcast. I, think it right. I will bet you this is the most popular podcast we've ever done. You mean this six one. people are going to listen to it? We should talk about beer. 
Ooh, Tell me about it. Beer. Yeah, beer's popular. There's Have you guys of... heard that beer in Asheville? There's beer. Can we people like beer yeah. and Asheville at the same time? It's a strange thing. And I, 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 know find, I, I find it embarrassing myself, but everybody is well, so was, tired of beer. I'm, that makes. Oh. I don't even want to drink it anymore. Well, the thing yeah. is, is it's gonna ruin beer for me too. Is Asheville's never gonna be taken seriously until we get over this beer thing and get into and I, hard narcotics. That's well, right. And, and, and aside from which, as a city, we have to commit to that. online poll you can vote endlessly in. Yes. This is utterly pointless. We well, almost didn't win this year. Be careful what you say. You, you, mean, we, you, you mean we didn't have enough ballots? Grand Rapids. Yeah, it was Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. Who even knew, right? Like Grand Rapids had better ballot stuffing than we did? Yeah. Well, that's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Well, they... You know what? A lot of the beer from local breweries isn't very good. I'm with you. And what? I'm not like a beer snob. What? I'm not, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't know why we're celebrating. We should be sure one city, USA. Yeah, uh, I'm with you on that one. Or Sun Drop yeah. City, either one. I mean. Can I say hell on the podcast? Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So I guess we'll talk about beer next time. We should have, we should have an elitist fashion to go to the movies and hate beer podcast next time. I don't think either of them drink beer. I mean, Perfect. you'd have to well, have I beer. have. I mean, I know. <laughs> no, something. currently. Do you drink Oh, no, you know? no. I mean,. I'd be the only person drinking. All, you can drink. You and I, we can drink beer. It all tastes That's like Budweiser. We can me. bring some beer. No, it does. It's yeah. like all I There's some local alcohol. breweries that are way worse than Budweiser. Bud yeah, yeah uh, let, me, let me put you I can this name way. It. It's all, all I taste is alcohol. Like, well, now that might be, but, but drink, it's just believe like, me, if you put if you put stout next to Budweiser, you can taste the difference. Trust me on this. Yeah, one. the colors tip you off. Yeah, we have to do a blind taste test, the Pepsi challenge. Fine, I'll be more than happy to do this. Okay, so now we have the Perfect. next Elitist Bastards Go to the Movies outlined for everyone, Ken will be including drunk. us. My so drunk movie review. Justin thing. will be the only sober person here. No, he'll be high on bath salts. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's already moved on into the next <laughs> next level Asheville. All right, well, thank you all I'll for listening. I'll be naked and growling, everyone. <laughs> and there we have it. It doesn't get any better from there. Yeah.